So there is an update for Vampire Survivors right around the corner, and you already know what channel is going to cover it first, right? Me. That's right, me. Now, yesterday, the game developers sent a message in the Discord server pretty much telling us what we can expect for the new update. That content is as follows, my friend. There will be four new achievements, one new power-up, one new passive weapon, 1.5 new characters. There's also some additional fixes in Dinosis for people stuck in a blank screen when starting the game. Um, there's going to be some new tweaks for passive weapons, those being that Hollow Heart and Pumarla. I think I said that right. Uh, both of their bonuses will be doubled, and the D Default axe will be passing through one more enemy. So we got some buffs here, but what we really want to talk about, honestly, is that characters, the passes, the power-ups, and the new achievements. That's what we're going to be talking about. So the planned release date for this update is on the 19th slash the 20th, which means we should be getting a beta within the next day or two, or you know, the following days. So I'll be making another video actually covering the actual content. But I want to make this one because I'm just so excited about this update that I could not, I could not contain myself, my friend. I could now contain myself now my reason for making this video is to purely talk about speculation up the next coming days the possibilities for the game mechanics in general the future of vampire survivors now in the latest few updates for the game there have been a lot of evolutions we're talking about the lightning ring getting an evolution we're talking about santa water getting an evolution and that build up a lot of hype within the community for other weapons to get evolutions to be more specific we're talking about rune tracer now however the information that we currently have does not really point to a new evolution of rune tracer which got me thinking you know what i mean you just gave us lightning ring you gave us Santa water and then boom no rune tracer no no bone like, well, hold up now what what, what why what, what, what is the meaning of this now this might be wrong because this is just speculation but this makes me believe that the current available passive weapons would not be a good match for rune tracer or for bone or for uh, evolution for the current weapons that we have inside of vampire survivors now if you guys don't know there's actually a lot of weapons that don't have evolution of vampire survivors those weapons being rune tracer pentagram clock lance and bone and Lorau. those are five different weapons that currently do not have an evolution inside of vampire survivors i mean you can really go even further and say that peach one and ebony wings also don't have an evolution although they unify together to make a weapon technically that's not an evolution which means what would happen if those were to get evolutions, you know what I mean? Either way, now it could just be said that the devs don't really know what to do when it comes to evolving those weapons just as just as late you know what i mean maybe they just don't know and they you know they, they want they want to focus on other things other than evolving those weapons or the current passive weapons that we have currently just don't fit to be evolved with the weapon you know what i mean and considering the fact that we're getting a brand new passive weapon it makes me it makes me think is this brand new passive weapon going to potentially be used to evolve Rune Tracer or Bone or Loral or Pentagram or Clock Lancet. You know what I mean? Maybe it will. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what this passive weapon is going to be, but it, it, I, I think it's going to be great. I think it's gonna be great. Now, on another note, something else popped up to me. There are currently gonna be four new achievements within the new update of Vampire Survivors. Now, if you guys don't know, there's a current a current trace, a current track record of when a new achievement is inside of Vampire Survivors. That also means that there's new content inside of Vampire Survivors because achievements are what you have to unlock to unlock new content in Vampire Survivors, whether that's a new weapon, a passive power up a character. They're all locked behind achievements, and when you get that achievement you can now use that new content now there's four new achievements that's going to be added to the new update and we can pretty much you know we can pretty much assess that the new achievements will be the one new power up the one new pass weapon and the 1.5 new characters 1.5 now that's three new additional contents to be exact 3.5 new additional confidence however there's four achievements you know what i mean there's four four achievements but we're getting three 3.5 new additional content what's that last achievement for what does that mean you know what i mean how is it why isn't it 3.5 new achievements you know what i mean like like what's going on here what is this and you know what what's with this 1.5 character to be exact what's with the 0.5 part you know what i mean will, will a current character receive tweaks or what what's with that now i read in the discord server a lot of people are thinking that we're getting a new character and that 0.5 part is that we're getting a character that we've already seen you know what i mean now that raises a question what characters inside of vampire survivors have we already seen that wasn't fully released but was also released at the same time you know what i mean like what is why why point five because if he wanted to say two new characters they would have said two new characters you know what i mean but they didn't 
they specifically said 1.5 new characters you know but yeah i just feel like this update raises some questions raises some speculations it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit on the interesting side you know what i mean since it doesn't really exactly say what we're getting but you know that we're getting something it raises some questions of what that exactly will be um but yeah i just felt like making this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think is going to happen what's going to be with this new passive what's this 1.5 new characters about um let me know where your head's at and everything like that also if you want to join the discord server there's a fan made discord server with a bunch of information about vampire survivors whether it's mods or information about the game in general make sure you guys join that it would be dope there's 70 people in there currently so i'm hoping to hit 100 and uh yeah it would be amazing to have your face there but yeah guys thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to the one stop shop for all your vampire survivors content i'll see you guys later have a great morning evening and afternoon my good friends and peace